welcome my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys i am actually in the process of working with a client we are at our last stage and i figured you know what this would be um a very easy simplistic uh spell that you guys can do now for the full moon as we are still currently on the full moon and it is amazing as well when the moon is um when the uh, when the moon is waning meaning to banish and release now uh if you're the type of person that has been single for quite a while now and it just seems like you cannot for the life of you either attract or have someone stick around if you're constantly having issues in regards to love and in regards to romance whether it be lack of or inconsistency with stabilizing a long-term commitment then this spell may be for you. Now, when we speak about, uh, and this could be done both for male and females, okay? It has the same power. It is very explosive. Yes, it is uh, a bit simplistic. You don't need very much elaborate type of, you know, tools or ingredients. Uh, it's very to the point. However, intention is key in this process, okay? Um, so what we're doing here is this is a uh, cleansing for your uh, physical body and your sexual aura. Now, when we deal with people on everyday basis, it is very, um, not sure if you've ever came across someone that you just like, just the moment you're talking to them or being around them, like they just lift your energy, you feel uh, very energized, inspired, whatever it is, um, or the contrast, which is where you feel drained, you feel tired, you feel exhausted. Those are people that are vibrating to very high energies or very low vibration. And all of this has a lot to do, of course, with our aura. But as humans, you also have a very strong uh, sexual aura. This is your kundalini power, your kundalini energy. And all of this comes from your root chakra. Now, unfortunately, nowadays we live in a society where um, people don't really care about, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, <laughs> titles. Um, and we can often find ourselves from one relationship to another, you know, to each their own. We're not here to judge. Um, if anything, I've always been a very, I've, I've always been about encouraging people to explore when we're talking about sexual uh our sexual nature we are animals by instinct that is who we are and there is you know if anything i've always been against suppressing because the more you suppress or the more you try to you know restrict yourself <clears throat> the more difficulty it comes uh, for you to become whole for you to be able to walk in your own authentic self so we're not talking about restrictions here. What we're talking about is the releasing of other people's energies that you could be carrying without knowing that is currently affecting your love and romance, okay? So what we're gonna do is for those of you guys, like I said, that have difficulty either obtaining a relationship, connecting with people, it, it feels or seems like you kind of push them away and you don't know why, or it's very difficult for you to move on from a relationship. Um, let's just say, you know, with the client that I'm currently dealing with, they've been single for about two years. And within those two years, they keep dealing with people from the past because they feel like they just don't seem to attract either new people in their lives or comfortability. That's what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this habit this is something that needs to be done in their life. And this is the releasing of those connections. So it could be easier for this person to be able to move on and no longer feel like they have to entertain the past, whether it be for lack of options or because they feel comfortable. And, you know, when you're dealing with, and I get it, I get it. We all go through situations where Sometimes you break up and you keep dealing with the same person because they're, they feel like home. They feel comfortable. Um, so again, if you're having these type of issues, it could be because you're still carrying energy from your past partners. Now, this can also correlate with those that 
are very free in nature. And like I said, we're not here to judge. I am here to support you 100%, baby. But it is important to cleanse yourself, to not be carrying around other people's energies and for you to be able to be vibrating to your full potential. So this spell is specifically for that. Now, this is a two-step process. Now, the first process is going to be very important. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this for a client, so this is what they have been carrying, but... Uh, for those of you guys that are going to be doing this, you would need either a red uh, thread, any any type of red thread. It must be new. It cannot be worn. It can be something that you're already wearing. Um, or you can use a, and, and really it doesn't matter. Give me one second. It doesn't really matter um, what color of thread you're going to be using. Uh, I could be pretty much anything really um but ideally it would be something neutral like uh like this type of thread um this is the one that like i said i did this for a client so this is their information here but you're going to be using a thread now you can use red or you can use a neutral color it doesn't matter the color really but we do want to stick with either extremely vibrant colors or neutral color like white or uh light beige okay now, the next thing you're going to be using is a marker. It could be a red marker or black Sharpie like this and a white piece, uh, white piece of paper, uh, paper. <laughs> white, white piece of paper with absolutely no lines. OK, now the for the second part, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using very important to use some. It doesn't matter how big or how small a rose quartz. OK. And then you're going to use two other crystals or stones. Um, ideally, uh, try to stick with crystals. Um, now, we have here the crystal uh, clear quartz, the rose quartz, and we also have um, uh, the, the fool's, uh, fool's gold. Not, I'm not sure what it's called. I can't think of it right now. But anyways, you get it. And the reason why we're using this is because it is extremely powerful. It is also for manifestations of money and money is the physical aspect. So we're using it for the physical body. Rose quartz, obviously our heart root chakra, as well as love and romance and the clear quartz because, well, obviously we're trying to vibrate to the highest of our potential. OK, but like I said, it doesn't matter what kind you use. You would need three because we're going to be doing a triangle here. But try to stick, at least integrate a rose quartz in this process, okay? And again, it doesn't matter what other ones you want to use. Whichever ones you're feeling stronger towards, you can use amethyst, you can obsidian, anything. Anything that you feel pulled towards, okay? Now, like I said, it is a two-day process. Not two-day process, sorry. A two-step process. Now, what we're going to do with this is you're going to... Uh, before you put this on yourself, you're going to uh, put some perfume or cologne, whichever one it is that you use. Now, if you don't use a perfume or cologne or oil, then you would just integrate it uh, or put it on yourself because you're going to be carrying this for three consecutive days. You cannot take it off. If you shower, you're going to shower with this. You cannot take it off for three days. OK. Now, ideally, we use perfume or cologne because that has uh, what, whichever one we use the most that is integrating in our essence. However, if you go to the gym, if you work out, if you sweat, if you don't wear a perfume or cologne or oil, essential oil, then what you're going to do is you're going to have to do some type of workout where you can sweat and the sweat is going to get into uh, the threat that you're going to be carrying. OK, it's going to be very important because it does need to carry your essence. All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to basically tie this on your wrist. You can put it on your right or left wrist. It does not matter. But when you're tying this and making the knots, make sure to put the intention. Um, so in this process, you would call your spirit guides or with whichever deities you work with. As an example, you would say, I call upon my spirit guides, my wise and loving guides, uh, spirits of light, my archangels or ancestors, please step forward and assist me. As I tie this knot, I also tie all the bindings and the emotional connections and physical connections that I've had or that I am currently carrying from past sexual partners. Now you're going to tie this and you're going to, ideally you would do three knots to this, okay? 
And like I said, you're going to use this for three consecutive days. Now, on the third day, what you're going to do is you're going to cut this with scissors. You're going to remove it. You're going to put it to the side and you're going to get a white piece of paper with a marker. Like I said, red or black Sharpie or a pen, doesn't matter. This is the, the, the difficult part for some people in this process. What we're going to do here is in this paper, you're going to write down the name of all the partners you've been with. Now, for some of you guys, this may be extremely easy. For others, it could be difficult. Why? Because we all go through different situations in our lives, sometimes traumatic. Um, and this is the difficult part. This is why I say it is a difficult part, because... If you've been a victim, if you've gone through a situation that was not by choice, writing down is almost like acknowledging. And I know that for some people that could be extremely diff uh, difficult, but it is extremely important. And I'm going to tell you why. So depending on how short or how long the list is, we're not here to judge, the difficult part is addressing those partners that have affected us greatly or have impacted us in some shape, way, or form, whether it's for positive or negative. And if you feel that at this point in your life, you're just not ready to address a certain issue that has anything to do uh, with your sexual history, then I would not suggest for you to do this spell. However, if you feel like this is something that you've been dealing and caring with for a very long time and you feel that you're at a point in your life where you've grown stronger, where you've become your own person and feel that you've kind of forced yourself to acknowledge that you're not going to be a victim of life, you're not going to be a victim of other people, you're going to take the experiences for what they are and you feel strong is what I'm saying. If you feel strong at this point, then this is something crucial. And I guarantee you guys, those of you guys that have gone through difficult situations, I guarantee you that this is going to transform your life. That's how powerful this is. Okay. Like I said, I do not encourage anyone to force themselves to have to face or deal by even writing down. It's a form of acknowledgement. And if you feel like you're not in that point in your life, do not force yourself, okay? But if you do, this is going to empower you. This is going to bring your power back. This is going to make you whole. This is going to release any impurities, whether it was because you chose, you know, certain partners that perhaps were not ideal, whether it was because life and circumstance put you in situations that were very hurtful and painful, um, whatever the situation is. Like I said, if you feel like you're at a point where you want to feel in power and in control of your life, do this, my lovelies. If you feel like you're just tired of, you know, not being able to find stability or not being able to heal certain wounds, this is the spell for you. Now, like I said, we're going to write down the names of all our partners. For some, this is going to be difficult, right? For some, you're going to be like, well, I don't really remember. Whatever the situation is, ideally, you would write down their first and last name. Now, I get it. Life happens. For some, you may not even remember their name. That's okay. We're not here to judge. But you do have to connect it to that experience. So as an example, if you had a one night stand and you don't remember who they were, but let's just say you hooked up, uh, I don't know, Valentine's Day or Halloween or something like that. You would write down uh, the girl that I hooked up with on Valentine's Day or the guy that I hooked up with on Halloween or, uh, I don't know, the person I hooked up with in the dorm or whatever your situation is. That's what you're going to write, okay? Now, when we do this, once you're done, what you're going to do is you're going to say out loud all of their names or whatever scenario happened, if you don't know their name, uh, like I said, the person that I hooked up with in a dorm, whatever the situation is, you're going to write down the whole list of your past sexual partners. You're going to call on their energies, 
all of them. You must do this one by one. And you're going to make your peace, expressing gratitude for the time that they shared in your life or the experience. This is why I say it may be difficult for some people because I understand that not everyone um, has that choice, unfortunately. Um, and I could never, I would never encourage someone to rush them to healing if they're not ready. But if you feel that you are ready, um, if it wasn't an ideal situation or if it was a very difficult situation, you would just say their name and you would just tell the universe, I thank you for this experience because it made me stronger, because it strengthened me, because I am to the point in my life right now that I am no longer a victim. I'm claiming my power and I am releasing their energy. They have served their purpose and I am done with them. Okay. And you're going to do this for every single partner you've ever had. Like I said, no matter how strong and deep the connection was or no matter how meaningful uh, or non-meaningful the connection was, you're going to show some type of gratitude, some type of thank you regardless if it was a 15 minute affair or if it was a 30 year affair, okay? Uh, this is why I say for some it may not be easy, um, but it is necessary. So once we do this, what we're going to do now is we are going to fold it and you're gonna fold it like this, okay? You're gonna fold it like this you're going to cut your bracelet, the thread that you were carrying for the past three days. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a grid. Okay? Ideally use three crystals or stones. And we are going to center a plate or something where you can ignite the paper and the bracelet. Now, my suggestion would be to center this right at the center and to sit with it to really sit with the acknowledgement of knowing whatever experiences you have had up until now and it is important to release that and to be okay with releasing that as an example if you're still dealing with an ex and you still have feelings and you're still involved it is very important to be certain that you're ready to move on when doing this. Now, you would call on your spirit guides. I call upon my spirit guides, my wise and loving spirits of light and love, my ancestors and archangels, please step forward. I want to thank you. I want to take this time to genuinely thank you for all the experiences that I've had or that I've shared with each one of these individuals, for good or for bad, I am grateful for those experiences for they have made me stronger. But now I am ready to release. I am ready to understand that they have all served their purpose. And you must claim. I release their energies. They are no longer a part of me. They are not who I am, they're no longer welcome in my mind, body, and spirit. And you're going to claim, I call my power back and I call it now. And you're going to say that. Claim it, own it. I call my power back now. When you're done with this, you're going to get a, you're going to get a cauldron if you have one. If you don't, you can use a bowl or something of ceramic that you know it's not going to break. Give me one second. Okay. We're going to center it right here at the center. Sorry, you guys, if you guys can see wax, I was doing this work for my client. So we're just concluding it now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set it on fire. Okay. So give me one second.
Okay, my lovely. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set it on fire and we're going to start with the paper. Like I said, when you light it, you're going to say and claim this shit, own this. You're going to say, I call my power back. I release all of these energies and they are no longer a part of who I am or a part of me, my mind, my body, and my spirit. Heavy energy because I didn't even get to light it. Okay. So, like I said, this is going to be hard for some that have gone through difficult situations. However, it is important to do this. You must release yourself from all of those energies, whether it was good experiences, whether it was bad experiences, whatever the situation is, it is crucial and important. Why? Because you don't want to be carrying other people's energies. You have the power. And as you can see, it is extremely high. And that's where we're going to throw in the bracelet as well and light it. And we're going to let this burn completely, okay? And feel grateful. Be thankful. Tell your spirit guides, your archangels, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for this divine releasing because I am no longer a part. I am whole. I claim my power back. And you're going to keep saying this. I claim my power back. And once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to gather the ashes. You're going to take them outside of your home and you're going to blow on them and release them to the wind and you are, you're done. I assure you guys, if you're carrying a lot of energies, a lot of energies that are not your own, you're going to feel a bit lightheaded. You're going to feel like you need to take a deep breath, and that's okay. But I assure you that in the next coming days, you're going to feel much more lighter. You're going to feel much more like yourself. and You're going to feel invigorated. You're going to feel strong. You're going to feel like yourself. And that's the beauty behind these spell works. This is, like I said, not many of ingredients. It is a two-step process. However, it is very simplistic. Anyone can do it. And it is extremely powerful. So I hope that this gives you guys guidance. I hope it assists you. I hope it helps you in releasing anything that is keeping you from the best that you can possibly be. I send you guys all my love. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.